Okay, so in this episode, I'm going to be making a custom aluminium roof rack for the van. Um, roof racks are pretty expensive for vans. They go up into like the $2,000, $1,500 range for aluminium roof racks. And uh, it's just too expensive to buy. So I thought, may as well just make my own. So I gotta figure out how to do that. So I've come up with a design that I've just kind of worked around on the design software and I think it's going to work. I've gone and bought all the aluminium and the way I'm going to do it is um, cut everything on the actual miter saw. So something I didn't know um, and you found out online is you can cut aluminium quite easily with a wood miter saw blade. Cuts like butter, I've just had a couple of practice cuts so I'm super stoked with that. And then I'm going to pop rivet it all together with um, just a couple of angles that holds everything together. Then I'm going to put it on the roof and I'll show you all the mounting process and everything. And I think it's going to look really good. It's going to house my solar panels. I'm going to have a wooden deck up on there, so a sunroof. It's going to have a spot for the surfboards and yeah, a little cutout for the roof vent. So I'll show you how it's done. Okay, it's now time for my first kind of major decision of this van, where I'm going to put the skylight and the roof vent. And I've really had to do a really good think about this. Originally, I wanted to put it right at the front, kind of as far forward as I could get, just so I could put a surfboard as long as I could down one side and then solar panels down the other. I realized that isn't going to work because this roof is kind of like quite a, a curve on the front. So I don't think it'd be a very snug fit. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to have a skinny solar panel on this side and two big ones down there. And then I should still be able to run long surfboards right down the length of the van. Alright, so this is how I'm going to build the roof rack and I'm going to pop rivet it all together. So I've made these aluminium brackets that go on either side of the cross members. And I've just pop riveted them on, cut them on the table saw so they're 45. And got all the cross members, the end ones. I've just got one. So I'm going to try and lay it out on the floor here and try and pop rivet it all together. So I think that's going to work. Okay, it's another day and I finished the aluminium framing for the roof rack. So I'll show you, it's all pop rivet together. I've just cut these angles on the uh, table saw to the size of the frame, which is 40 mil by 40 mil by three. And it is really strong. Like, I don't think I'm gonna need to weld this thing at all. I might later on, but it's super strong as it is. The middle sections have these little angles on both sides. I've only put one pop rivet in this side at the moment because I uh, ran out of pop rivets, but I'll put another one in. So yeah. Okay, so the way I'm gonna mount this to the roof is these new roofs um, on vans like these, they don't have gutters anymore like the older styles. They've got kind of um, threaded inserts that go along the van. So I've got four on each side and there's an M8 bolt that just goes in here and in here and in there as well. So that makes it very easy to customize your roof rack. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm going to have an aluminium piece that comes down the side here 
um, and I'm gonna have spaces that lift it up because the roof of the van isn't quite flat, it's got a curvature to it. So I have to kind of raise it up a little bit so the flat members don't touch the top of the roof. So I'm gonna put a spacer down and then put a long strip of aluminium down and then my frame for my roof rack will sit on top of that. So I'll show you how it's done. So these are the spaces I've made for the roof rack. They're just a plastic window shim. So these things you can buy from the hardware store, they're like $2 and it's quite good because they're very hard plastic and they, they do, a, do a good job, they won't compress. And I've got a whole bunch of this six mil um, rubber sheeting, which I'll cut underneath and use it as a gasket so it won't leak. Depending on how much space I need, I might put another one on top, but that's gonna work really well. I end up having to trim one side down just because where this sits on the roof isn't quite flat. It's kind of an angle like this. So then, um, yeah, so now it sits flat that I had to trim a little bit off on the table saw. Okay, so this is how the two frames work going down the side of the van here. And the spaces, as you can see, hold it up off the ground a little bit, and then there's the, the washer, the rubber liner underneath that kind of water tights the whole thing, and then it also raises it up a little bit. I needed it to raise another half a meter, a half a centimeter just to bridge the gap so it doesn't touch the middle of the roof because it is curved. So now I'm gonna try, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, is get the frame up by myself and see if I can sit it on top of the two rails. So the way that I attached this cross member to the actual van is they've got the threaded inserts built into the van, they're M8, so they're metric uh, M8 bolts. And what I've done is just drilled a bigger hole that I can put my socket through and then a smaller hole on the other side and I've got a 45 millimeter stainless steel bolt with a split washer and a washer and that'll just hold it really tight take out all the vibrations so when I'm driving it's not going to come undone and the rubber stopper underneath the gasket's going to take a lot of the vibrations as well so I don't think it's going to be coming undone when I'm driving so the way that I'm going to hold this cross member onto the frame is I've made these little aluminium angles, 1.6mm aluminium, and I'm going to pop rivet them onto the frame. So I'm going to put them in there, drill a hole, drill a hole in there, and put two pop rivets in, and that's going to be sufficiently enough strength to hold this down. It's not going to be load bearing or anything, it's just really holding it in place, and I'll do that on all the runs, and yeah, that'll be by far sufficient enough to hold it down. And that way, if I really need to take it down again, I can just drill the pop rivets out and then pop rivet them back in again when I want to. Alright, so there we have it. That is my no weld aluminium custom made roof rack for my transit. I'm super happy with it, it's so strong. It's all just pop riveted down. I'm gonna be able to run my solar panels down the left hand side, and then I'm gonna have a wooden deck that runs down the whole right hand side, and I can use that for a sun deck and for storing long surfboards on. And I'll have like some cleats where you can lock down tie down points too. So yeah, super happy with that. It all up costs me about $350. These roof racks that you could buy commercial were about $1,500. Um, and yeah, that's a pretty big price point difference. So yeah, super happy with how it turned out. So yeah, if you have any questions about how I made it, leave a comment. Remember to like this video, it really is gonna help my channel out. I want to 
make a lot more videos about this van build and how I'm doing the transit. So also subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time.